<laughs> it is a new year. Happy New Year, everyone. Welcome to Beast Mate Reviews, the channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. I'm Dave, of course. Now, last year I did a video talking about best gear of the year, and I actually had so many things that year that I split it into three videos. This year I'm going to continue the tradition of that, but do it in one video, kind of streamline the process a little bit. But we're bringing in a new concept, but this time I'm calling it the Beamers. So welcome to the second annual Beamers Awards, best gear that I tried last year. Now, because I review things for this channel, I either buy things or I'm sent things for review. So I get to try a lot of things out. Last year was no different. And so these awards go to special products that I think are truly great. Things that I really used or wore a lot last year and went above and beyond. All of these things are really award worthy. And so I really like them a lot. I'll have a link down below to all of these things. If you're interested in any of these, I have links down below. A lot of these are affiliate links. Anytime you buy through that, it does help the channel. I always really appreciate that. It really helps us continue doing what we're doing here. So thank you so much for your support. And if you like this type of content, if you like great gear, great clothing, great products like this, why don't you consider subscribing down below? I think you really like it here. I have a lot more great content planned for 2023. So stay tuned for that. And I even have a new camera. You might not even notice that, but I have a new camera that I'm really excited about. So I guess that's the first award that I just got. I got it in the end of 2022, and that is the a7 IV by Sony. I absolutely love this. It allows me to shoot even higher quality color. I can shoot it in 10-bit 422. The autofocus is way better than what I had before. And as you can see, I'm looking off to the side because it has a flip screen. I can actually preview myself in a little side monitor. Amazing. So that was my runner up. Now the first Beamer Award is going to go to some clothing items that I've tried. And all of these are fantastic. I'll mention the first two together because they're kind of similar. And that is the 45 t-shirt and the Huckberry logo shirt. Obviously, both of these are from Huckberry. 45 is one of their kind of in-house brands. They make amazing kind of vintage style t-shirts. And I mentioned this because this is one of the best shirts I've ever had. Instead of recommending people support my channel through maybe a logo shirt, like maybe some other channels do, I suggest going here and buying a 45 t-shirt. This will support my channel in the same way, but I think this shirt is easily one of the best t-shirts I've ever worn in the cotton range. Just standard cotton t-shirt. It's so soft. It fits fantastic. I love it. I love this gray as well. Now the Huckberry shirt is really similar in style, and so I almost think that it's the same shirt. I can't be 100% sure. I like this because, first of all, I like Huckberry. I don't mind the branding on this. I actually think it's really cool. I typically love charcoal because it goes with everything. It's just a good color on me. They have a lot of other colors for shirts as well, but I really like them. On me, they fit perfectly. They're in the slim range, but they're not too short as far as the back length, so I really appreciate that a lot. Both these shirts, fantastic. Next are some boots, and these boots are the Grant Stone Ottawa boot in Kangaroo. Now I have a full review of this in my boots video. I also have a standalone video if you want to go and watch that as well. Needless to say, I'm a big fan of Grant Stone. Their Ottawa boots have been around for a while, but I just got to try them out recently and in this Kangaroo. And the Kangaroo is the best. Kangaroo you can get really thin because it's the toughest animal leather out there. So it feels like it's already broken in. These look great. I love the natural color on these. Of course, I love the Kangaroo. They're going to be really durable, really well made as well by Grant Grant Stone. I cannot recommend Grant Stone enough. Like I've said before, if I had one boot brand that I could wear, this would be it. It's probably the best quality for the money that you can get in a shoe or a boot bar none. Love them. Next is the Oyster Hoodie by Wellen. Now, Wellen is another brand from Huckberry that I really like. Wellen usually has stuff in kind of the kind of coastal West Coast style uh, apparel. This one was one they just came out with last year. It's made from recycled oyster shells. And that sounds really strange, but these recycled oyster shells, they spin into a type of polyester. And this has just been one of my go-to kind of throw on hoodies because it's very thin and lightweight. It looks great. It really doesn't feel any different than any other hoodie out there, but I really love how lightweight it is. I love how thin it is, easy to pack. It fits great. And so I really like this a lot. Definitely recommend this Seawool hoodie by Wellen. 
All right, next Beamer Awards go to a couple of pair of pants. Now, first is the Proof Rover Pant. This was a pair of pants that I'd reviewed on some of my best pants from last year. If you wanna go and watch that, definitely check it out. These Rover Pants are not a typical style of pants that I would be gravitated to normally, but I wore them so much because they just look fantastic. I love the way they look. They're very slim, but they don't look skinny on me. They have some natural stretch, so they always feel great. They look great. The color is a little bit different color than I usually have, but I like that. It kind of has almost like a khaki denim type of thing or khaki canvas. I wear them almost every other day. I wear them that much and you can't even tell. They've held up really well. Really love these pants. Next are the Merino Tencel pants by Unbound Merino. Now these are pants that I mentioned in my Merino wool video. Again, these are pants that I probably would not wear normally, but I wore these a lot as kind of an indoor, kind of lounge wear type of pants that I would wear around the house. And because of that, they've been amazing. These are super comfortable. They're made with, of course, merino wool. It's thermal regulating. It's very soft. They're very comfortable. They're very sleek as well. They look great. I cannot say enough about these jogger sweatpants. They look and feel great. Next, I have two pairs of sunglasses. First are WMP Eyewear Sunglasses or Wear Me Pro Sunglasses. This is a brand that really, really blew me away. I was stunned by what they offer for the quality, for the price. Uh, sub $30 for most of their frames and they look great. I know a lot of people who want to buy sunglasses that don't break the bank. They just kind of do the job. What I like about these is this is that price range that a lot of people are looking for, but they have a lot better quality than what you expect at this price point. And plus they look fantastic. I love all the styles. I had a few styles in my review and I definitely want to feature them again in the channel. So stay tuned for that. Next, Next are the Walden sunglasses. This is a new line of sunglasses released by Huckberry, I believe last year. Huckberry always nails the way things look. This looks very modern and sleek. They kind of reminded me of the bad guy from the Sandman series, as well as in the graphic novel as well. These are great sunglasses though, and I think that if you're looking for some in this price, they're Excellent, excellent quality. All right, now let's go to our next category and the Beamers, and that is EDC. Now at EDC, I always like to feature on the channel. I did several things last year for EDC. Glad to do some more, have more coming as well. One of the things that I was really proud of is my review of Tactile Turn. So my first mention is the Tactile Knife Company Rockwall. I love this knife. It has been just a go-to knife for me recently. I love how thin it is in every dimension. It fits great in the pocket, has a nice deep carry. Love the deployment, love the quality, love the way it looks. Don't like the edge grind. The edge grind could definitely improve. I had to work on it a little bit to get it back to normal. I got it there, thank God, and now it is a great knife. Next is Urban Carvers. Now, Urban Carvers is making a keychain quick release system that is based on magnets. And they have lots of different metals and materials that they use for that. They have different sizes. I have a few different sizes and materials that I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna mention them more in the future, but for now, just know that I really love them and I can highly recommend them. I've been using these on my keychains uh, for the last several months now, and these have been absolute game changers for me. The magnets are very strong, and they're not gonna go anywhere. Highly recommend these from Urban Carvers. Definitely check them out. Next is the Olight Baton 3. Olight is a company that I've known about for a long time, and I've actually had their mini baton for a while. They reached out to me last year, and I did a video about a couple of new products that they came out with. One of them was the Olight Baton 3 Pro. This one really blew me away. I love this, and I've been reaching for it constantly. I have it right by my desk. I actually mounted the L bracket upside down on my desk and I just grab it anytime I need it. It's been great. I love the side switch. It's super bright. It is a great flashlight that I can really recommend. I want to do some more videos on flashlights in the future. So if you're interested in that, let me know. All right, now, of course, I have a couple of pens on the list, and this year, it to me, was all about fountain pens. Now, I had a huge uh, interest in fountain pens on my channel last year, personally. Also, a lot of you really love those videos, so thank you so much. More coming, by the way, as well. To me, the first Beamer Award for pens goes to the Gravitas Entry Pen. Gravitas is a company that I really love. They're based in Ireland, and they're making these super, super sleek, cool 
pens, I think, that are just phenomenal. They appear to be really simple, but there's been a lot of attention to detail in these pens, and they're also a great price. I think for the money, these have the best value and fountain pen out there, period. Now, I have both the Century and the Entry, but I think I really prefer the Entry because of how thin it is. I love the colors on these. I love the shapes. They are just fantastic pens. They are buttery smooth as well. Whatever they're doing to the nibs there is working because they are absolutely some of the best writers I've ever, ever used. They're some of my go-to pens and I love them. Now I'll mention two more as well and those are two that I'll mention together. They're the Shone Altem pen and the Shone Smalltem pen. Now obviously these both go together because they're Shone Design pens. Um, I really like Shone Design as well. They're making really excellent, excellent quality pens. They're all made here in the USA and they're fantastic. Fantastic. The Altem pen was really an eye opener. It's a great eyedropper pen. If you want to use it as an eyedropper, you don't have to, but you can. And it's just a pen that always, always works. It never seems to dry out. There's a lot of different O-rings in all the spots. It works great. The Small Tem, similar to the Altem and similar to maybe their Pocket 6, it's kind of a marriage of those two type of pens. A little bit bigger than the Pocket 6, obviously smaller than the Altem pen, but works in a similar way to the Pocket 6, where you can take off the top, post it in the back but you can eyedropper this as well. And of course, it's made of Altem. I found that I just really love eyedroppering pens. I love just knowing that there's ink in there and not having to worry about it. And both of these pens from Shown Design just always work. Definitely, definitely check them out. Now with the pen comes inks. And this year, my favorite inks that I got were from Private Reserve. First of all, I love their colors. They have a lot of great colors. The names of their colors harken back to old car colors or guitar colors. So me being a guitar guy, I really like that. I really like when there is a Sherwood green ink which I have, that can match maybe a Sherwood green guitar or a Shoreline gold, which matches a Shoreline gold guitar. I think you get the picture here. And then I also got Burgundy Mist, of course, because I have a Burgundy Mist Tele. Great company, great inks from Private Reserve, which is a great segue into my guitar. Of course, my guitar from MJT Customs Guitars. Now, I actually did mention this last year, but I didn't get to show it. So I wanted to mention this again, but I got a guitar from MJT Custom Guitar and the honeymoon period has still not gone away. I love this Telecaster. It is such a good Telecaster. Better than any custom guitar. It just blows me away how responsive it is, how great the sound is. It is just a dream of a Telecaster. I could not have asked for a better guitar. And so I absolutely recommend MJT Custom Guitars. Definitely check them out. All right, now we're going to get into grooming supplies real quick. Now, the first one is something I got a while back, but I just started using because I just received a different variety of it. And that is the body wash, the thick body wash from Duke Can. Now, I love Duke Cannon. They've been just a great company out there for grooming supplies. I got one in a Buffalo Trace smell. It smells kind of like oak and whiskey. It's really good. Love it. Also, definitely check out the wipes, the body wipes from Duke Cannon. I've been really using those whenever I can. I don't need to all the time, but when I do, they are just perfect for the job. They're nice and big. You can wipe several different areas of your body if you need to. So if you need to kind of wipe your pits off or something like that, they're great for that. Of course, I have a few things from from Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. Huge fanboy of Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. I've been singing their praises for years now, and I've been going through their catalog for limited releases on my other channel, Fragrance Bros. You can go and check it out up here. But I need to give three beamers this year to Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements, and the first one goes to their La Creciatura Razor. Now, this is amazing. It's beautiful, first of all. It looks kind of like D&D dice or something like that. It has that kind of a glittery green look to it. This one actually doesn't glow in the dark, though they do have an option that glows in the dark. They have this in several different colors. I really love slanted razors. I think that they're just perfect on me anyway. Because of the slanted design, it actually increases the cutting power on uh, the razor, so it's super clean. Definitely check out the La Creciatura. Next is Thought Forms, which is a new scent, a new limited release scent that's coming out uh, sometime in the next couple of months from Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. This one is kind of a collaboration between me and them. It's amazing. I'm not going to give anything away yet, but definitely check out Thought Forms whenever it comes out. 
And the third one is their Star Jelly. Star Jelly is an aftershave that they have, but instead of it being a liquid alcohol-based aftershave, this one is more of a jelly, obviously. This one goes on really smooth. I love that it doesn't burn your skin, maybe like the aftershaves do. Kind of feels almost like a lotion, but a little bit more cooling. They have these in mentholated versions and non-mentholated versions, and they also have little travel packs as well that you can get those. Love that. They have it in unscented as well, so it goes with everything. Star Jelly has been really a game changer with me. I do like to use aftershaves whenever I shave, but I don't always like to use the liquid ones just because they sting sometimes a little bit more than I'd like them to. But Star Jelly is a perfect alternative. All right, next is the Brio Beard Trimmer. Now, I did a video a while back on Manscaped and the beard trimmer by them or the body hair trimmer by Manscaped. I thought the beard trimmer was pretty good, but then Brio contacted me and they sent me theirs and just completely nuked it from orbit. <laughs> they are just absolutely just smashing the body hair trimmer category and in every way, absolutely love them. Check out Brio. All right, the next category is kind of a wild card category. The first one is the pack by GoRuck. Now, GoRuck makes rucksacks for exercising, rucking, and they make plates that go in there as well. If you're looking to ruck, highly recommend them. I've been blown away by GoRuck. I got this pack and I also got a 20 or 30 pound weight and it has been phenomenal. It's super durable. I love the weight system. I fell in love with rucking in general, so yeah, go ruck. Check them out. Next is Extend. Now, Extend has a kind of unfortunate name, I think, because it makes me think it's some kind of pill for you know where. It's not. This is actually a mid-workout or post-workout uh, supplement that you can take. They have several different ones in their line. I got a few different flavors. They all taste amazing. Some of them have zero sugar in there, which is what I like, especially at nighttime when I like to go rucking. Extend kind of promotes that they increase your VO2 max. I thought that was kind of hogwash at first, but then I slowly started seeing on my app watch at the time, my VO2 max was starting to climb. Maybe it was a rucking, maybe it was the extend, maybe it was both, but both of them together really dramatically increased my VO2 max, which was awesome. Next is the Yeti cooler. Yeti, of course, they make great coolers that holds a lot in there, keeps it really cold as well. This has just been a great grab and go small cooler. Fantastic. Next is the Whiskey Peaks Beer Stein. Now, Whiskey Peaks, uh, I found them on Huckberry as well. They have Mountain Peaks in the bottom of the glasses. This one is a Beer Stein. I really like beer, and so I couldn't resist this. This is great because it's double walled, keeps your beverage nice and cool, and it has a nice little mold of a mountain on the bottom there. It's also really light for a glass this size and holds a lot of liquid in there, like way more than I thought it would. Next is Cigarism. Now, Cigarism sent me a couple of products for a video that I made on on cigar accessories. Cigarism is making things, I believe out of China, and they're making very inexpensive, very accessible products that you can make. And I really like the products that they sent. They were really high quality, very inexpensive, great value. And I was really pleasantly surprised for the quality of products that they offered, for the price that they offered. Great marriage of the two, I think. And I can highly recommend those products. Their quad butane torch, fantastic. Their scissor cutters, also fantastic. And their V cutter, great. Along those lines, Benchmark Humidors. Benchmark, wow, what a great humidor. These are just beautiful. The one I have is in figured walnut. And if you just look at it, the wood grain just leaps out at you. It has such chatoyancy and 3D quality to it. It's beautiful. I just wish it was kind of bigger. It doesn't hold a lot of cigars and the size of the cigars is kind of limited as well to maybe Robusto size, but it is absolutely gorgeous, handmade here in the USA. I mean, wow, magnificent. magnificent magnificent little humidor. Also the Perfect Draw. Perfect Draw was one thing that I thought was an absolute game changer. It looks like a little auger. If your cigar is really tight, you can just dig a little tiny bit out at the end there and that completely changes the airflow in the cigar, makes it to where it's much easier to draw on. It is a phenomenal tool and it's not that expensive, but I think it's a must have for every cigar aficionado out there. All right, next is a Mueller French Press. Now I am not a coffee connoisseur of sorts, but I do like high quality coffee. And I prefer French press coffee whenever I make it myself. And I've gone through a few different French presses that were made of the Pyrex glass. Those were all good. They did the job, but inevitably something will happen and they'll just break. I got this actually for my birthday and this was phenomenal. This is made out of aluminum, I believe, and it's great. It's never gonna break. I love it. 
It's just a great solid French press. Next is Fire Department Coffee. Now I got Fire Department Coffee recently for a future video that I'm going to do. Uh, I don't wanna give the surprise away, but got them and I really liked them. Now they have a lot of different coffees. They have kind of their baseline coffees that they sell and those are pretty good. But to me, I think what they're best at is the coffees, their subscription monthly coffees. That they have a subscription monthly coffee that you can get from around the world. That they have kind of varieties from different areas around the world. That is fantastic. But also they have a subscription service for their spirits series that is barrel aged in spirits. I got one of those, which was a whiskey apple pie, which was phenomenal. I liked it so much that I got two more and they're awesome. They're so good. If you like those flavors mixed together in coffee, definitely check that out. If not, go for the subscription service for their normal variety coffee. It's awesome. Last but not least is the Prepara Evac Fresh Saver, specifically for use with coffee. Now this is an ingenious device, I think, which is just a cylinder and it has a little push down uh, airlock that pushes air out of your cylinder. So if you store whole bean coffee like I do, having this evacuates a lot of the air out of the container which is something that will oxidize and make them go stale faster. So if you can get rid of all that air, it preserves the freshness. It's very inexpensive. The only thing I don't like about it is they tend to discolor, especially with flavored beans. I don't really know why, but it just does that. If you can get over the staining of it, I think it's fantastic for all of the coffee lovers out there. It's phenomenal. So that is all I have. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Did you have a favorite review from last year? Do you have some favorite gear of the year that you really liked last year? Let me know down below. All of these things are fantastic. Definitely check out all the links down below for any of these things. And if I have videos of these products, I'll have the links down below there too. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for attending the Beamers this year. I hope you have a great 2023. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beastman Reviews.